Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Oh, well, I've been asked to do an easy Beatles song because the Beatles, you know, they have, they can throw some interesting chords at you. Um, so I've covered a lot of Beatles tunes, and um, somebody said, you know, I love the Beatles. Uh, I want to, but I'm not very good at guitar. <laughs> so uh, can you help me out here? So uh, Yellow Submarine. Uh, it's, it's a pretty easy song. It, it does require you to change chords relatively quickly, but it does use pretty basic chords. Um, I pretty much played everything you're going to learn right there at the beginning um, in that order, and that just kind of repeats. We are in an E-flat tuning, though, if you want to stay in tune uh, or play in tune with the original recording. So I'm going to put those notes um, in the description if you don't know what that is, but it's basically every string on the guitar tuned down a half step. So we have E-flat, A-flat, D-flat, G-flat, B-flat, E-flat. All of the chords still work the same, it just sounds a half step lower. So Ringo can sing over it, I guess. I don't know. But uh, put it in his vocal range. So let's start here with just the chords. Now, we have the verse section, which is played with two different ways. It's played by just hitting the chords and letting them ring. And then it, they play it in kind of like a swing strumming feel. All right, and then we have the chorus section. All right, so let's take a look at the verse section, which has the most chords in it first. We're going to start with just a D major chord. Now, if you don't know the actual chord names I'm calling out, I do have a lot of tutorials at guitarlessons365.com. Free. You can just go there, beginner section. It'll show you all of these chords. Um, so it's, it's a basic D major chord. So hopefully I don't have to show you, uh, you know, show you string by string on this. But in addition to the normal D, they have the A string in there as well. Kind of makes it sound a little fuller. It's still a D major chord, though. Just has an A in the bass, which makes it actually a D major in second version, but don't worry about that. We have so we have that first chord, and then we go to a C major chord, and once again we're gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna play uh, so if you play it a normal C major that you may already know, and just move this finger up to the third fret of the low E string, and then replace the finger that uh, the, the note that you just left with your pinky there, your little finger. You basically have a C major chord like with this with the G in the bass. So it's still considered C chord, once again in second inversion, but don't worry about that name. So anyway, we have this. D with the A in the bass, then C with G in the bass. And then we go to a normal G major chord. Now the G major chord voicing that they're using throughout this song is the one that has the B string open. You may play that like that, or like that, whatever is way is comfortable. But from here, it's probably easier to just play it with those three fingers, the two, three, and four. All right, so we have this. Now we go E minor to A minor. Now you notice that the pattern is one chord is held, let you let it ring for quite a while and then there's like kind of like a kind of a passing chord that takes you to the next one that you have to go so it does force you to play all the notes at the same time and at a pretty quick pace so we have this then E minor A minor then we go back to that C again with the G in the bass and then we play a D dominant 7 chord a lot easier than it sounds. It's the second fret on the high E string, first fret on the B, second fret on the G, then the open D string. So from here, then we're going to start over, but first we got to do a little, really kind of a passing chord, the G again, the G, the, the normal G chord. Then we're back to the beginning. So this whole thing is played twice. So. When you get back to that D there with the A in the bass, that's starting over. So we have. Now we're starting over here. We go back to that G, and now we do the exact same chords twice through again, but this time we're going to start strumming them. So we're going to start it with that D chord. 
So it's the same strumming the entire time, and it's kind of a swing eighth feel. Now what that means is just, just down, up, down, up, down, up. But if you just went down, up, down, up, straight, like that's an eighth note feel. So you're going down, up, down, up, down, up. If you do both of them evenly, it doesn't sound right. You want to delay the upstroke a little bit and kind of accent it. So that gives it kind of a swing feel. <clears throat> a way you can feel that is to count to three, like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So kind of get that feel while you're playing the same chords twice through again. And now we get to the chorus. So that was the verse just basically played with simple one strum and then with a kind of a swing eighth feel. So done twice, you know, basically you're playing through the whole chord progression four times. Then we get to the chorus, which is a lot easier. It's basically just two chords, that same G chord. And uh, then followed by the D chord with that A string in the bass again. All right, so let's do the strumming pattern real quick. It's just down, 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 up, and then change chords. So down, 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 up. Switch that D chord, and now you're gonna do that full down, 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 up pattern twice on it. And then back to the G. All right, so that's one time through the chorus. You're gonna play that twice for the full chorus. So those are basically the same four chords. We're all just two chords, but they're each each time you do the strumming pattern, that's a measure. So one measure of G, two measures of D, and then one measure of G. So that's four measures, and then you repeat those four measures again for the full chorus. So we have this. Now, you've pretty much learned everything. When you go back to the second verse, it's half as long as before, so he never gets to the strumming part. He plays through the chord progression, that same thing we did earlier. Twice, but just doing the single strum. As soon as he gets through all the single strum of playing the part twice, it goes back to the chorus. Um, then, when we play the verse the third time, you're gonna start with this single strum again. There's lots of sound effects and, and stuff going on. Um, with the single strum, just like we played it the first time, single strum way of playing the verse chords two times through the chords, and then that swing eighth feel for two times through the chords. So basically, the first and third verse are played the same, and that second verse is half as long. All right, and then it just keeps going to the same chorus between all of those. So nice, simple song. Hopefully, uh, it won't be too challenging if you're, if you're having trouble changing chords fast. Uh, we're keeping it all basic open position chords. Uh, so as long as you get in the proper tuning here, you should be able to play along pretty quickly, I hope. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.